Hey, it's Raktar, and I am back for another episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In today's episode, I plan to make Gary Gygax very proud. And the reason I plan to make Gary Gygax very proud is because, if you maybe haven't heard, he was one of the original creators of Dungeons & Dragons. I'm in a dungeon, there's a dragon to be dealt with, which means I gotta Gygax it up and deal with this Dungeons and Dragons of a problem. I thought I was gonna have to clear off those, uh... I thought I was gonna have to clear off them... them birds off camera, but that actually went a lot smoother. Oh, they've only got the things on one side? Whose idea was that? All the other ones are double-sided, and then somebody was just like, fucking probably not Gary. Gary Gygax wouldn't have... Oh, come on, please don't do this to me. Gary Gygax wouldn't have pulled that shit. Gary Gygax fucking loves America, so he doesn't... Tr he doesn't only make things one-sided like a jerk. Gary Gygax makes everything two-sided because he believes in America. <laughs> That's... I don't know how really... I don't know how accurate of a picture right now I'm painting of Gary Gygax, but as a man who loves the game of D&D, &D, I would like to believe that Gary Gygax does love America, so I will give him the benefit of the doubt in this case and say that he does, in fact, love America. Did I just shoot back to the original platform? Oh, no, I did not. Oh, my gosh. You would not believe how unhappy I would be. See, it looks like I did because they both have a little chunk of their chain broken. And is that little chunk of the ch Is there a... There wouldn't happen to be a thing back there, would there? Yes, there would. Yeah, seriously, they both had a chunk of the thing missing, so I straight up, I got really scared there for a second. And I was like, oh no, I got turned around. But dude, maybe that's why some of them are one-sided, is because they want to make it a little bit more challenging, so people won't do what I might have accidentally done, but I didn't, and that is get all turned around, flipsy backwards, in such a way that would destroy your life. What is this? Oh, one final... They have one final challenge of climbing up a room, and it sounds like I can hear the wings of... Winged beasts. Oh, it's these guys. They want me to battle too now. That's I was like, dude, what kind of treachery are they expecting of me? They now want me to battle two beasts instead of one. I was like, that's not fair at all because these enemies fly around. Actually, I guess it's easier because there's no windows this time, so they can't like oh come on, put your shield up. Put your shield up, homie. I'm ready. What the fuck? Did he just 100 rupee right in my mouth? Put your shield up, please. Seriously, if this guy doesn't put a shield up, I'm gonna fucking shove my sword down his throat when he gets down here. You're gonna go straight to your room, young, young lad. And when you are done thinking about what you've done, I'm gonna stick my Thor sword in your face. Dude, I've said this before, I think it'd be really cool if Legend of Zelda, if they made a Legend of Zelda game where, you know, there was multiple kinds of gear instead of just kind of like one set kind of gear. Because whenever I see, like, an enemy's, um... Whenever I see an enemy's weapon just laying around in a Legend of Zelda game, and it's a really cool-looking weapon, I'm like, what if there was a Legend of Zelda game where having, you know, the Master Sword wasn't as big a deal because it turned out that there was lots of awesome magical swords in the land, and so you didn't have to, uh, you didn't have to rely on good old... Oh, please say I can make that. Nope. Oh, come on. I think I'm gonna have to do what I did yesterday again with I or I have some nice speed up effects So there won't be a lot of cutting around here. There'll just be some Tricky little speed up effects. By the way, this is a trick. I know from speedrunners. Hopefully I can pull it off right It's a super easy trick. Yep. There we go. You um You do that and it saves you a few seconds So you have to wait for one fewer cycle to get around. Oh, but I messed it up anyway. Seriously, why do I suck so badly at just hooking between these ridiculously crazy-ass devices that are spinning? It seems like this should be such an easy task if you are not a piece of shit who sucks. Is there an enemy? Okay. Oh. Whoa. I was like, the fuck? There's totally an enemy around here. There shouldn't be enemies in an area like this. That's not fair at all. Oh, the final one is not a spinning one. Okay. Why, dude, I wonder why, what's the point of just putting a switch in there instead of just making it spin? I feel like it would be easier just in the long run to just make it spin right off the bat. I've been trying to watch my map very closely 
in case there is like a pot or something around this area. But it appears as though there's not. I'm gonna do something ridiculous. I'm gonna pop on a bottle really quick because, let's be honest, there's probably... What? Okay. Popping on a bottle was a waste of time. You know, usually, the game likes to slip slip me a Mickey. They like to slip me a... Uh, they like to slip me a fairy right before a boss battle. That either means that they hate me, or they just didn't intend for this fight to be hard, or they forgot. They couldn't forget. Dude, Legend of Zelda games are actually, I feel like they're always really good about slipping a, um, about just slipping a little something something. Where's the map? Oh, dude. This area is so badass that they're like, no maps for you. This area is too cool for a map. Oh, for a second there I was really confused. I was like, how are you supposed to get up here? It looks like there's a big break in the thing that doesn't let you do anything. And then as it turns out, there's some nice grass. Dude, I miss being able to, um... One thing that I thought was really neat about Skyward Sword that they added, that I always really appreciated, was the ability to, um... Shake to climb up la Shake your Wiimote, or whatever. No, you hold A to climb up ladders faster and to climb up vines faster and stuff at the, co at the cost of stamina. I've always been... A proprietor, not a proprietor. I've always been a supporter of the stamina system because I feel like when you use a stamina system in games, it's not a bad idea just because it gets the job done and allows people to rock and roll. And so I was always okay with the fact that they decided to use uh, a stamina system in Skyward Sword. Some people complained about the stamina system, but I thought it was a really great ad. Like, I heard some people who would be like, oh, now Zelda's doing the stamina thing, that's a bunch of bullshit. Stamina meter sucks. Something gives me the feeling this boss fight is gonna be like really long. I don't know why I have that feeling. I just get that feeling. If I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this boss fight, but my if memory serves, it does have like something to do, you know, with these gigantic towers. I mean, why wouldn't it be? They have these freaking huge ass towers. Of course they intend for you to climb up them. Oh, okay. Oh, and we're gonna shoot his tail. And, oh, I- crap, I gotta get an item on, quick. No, no, it's not letting me equip the item screen. It's not letting me go to the item screen. Now it is. Poop. I was gonna- it's clear that I was intended to put on the iron boots right there. Dude, that was super lame that it wouldn't let me put the iron boots- or, see, now it will, but it was lame that it wouldn't let me, like, equip items while I was hanging from the tail. I feel like usually the game at least lets you, like, get into the item equip screen to do stuff like that. So now what are you gonna do, dragon? I'm surprised that actually did as much damage as it did. Like, to be 100% honest, that doesn't seem like that would really do all that- Okay. I was- for a second there, I thought that maybe the trick was gonna be that he was gonna go into, like, another phase or something, but I guess we gotta do the- We gotta do a few more rounds of knocking his armor off, and then maybe once all his armor is destroyed, we'll be in Sexyville, USA, and it'll be preparedness time for getting- Okay, cool. We got the iron boots on. Can Link not climb up with the iron boots on? No, no, he can. Oh crap, but this dragon is about to fireball me and I don't have time to dodge. Oh, oh dude, luckily the uh, the iron boots make that okay. Apparently he can't knock me off when I have the iron boots on. That's kind of ridiculous, but it works out for me in the long run. And it seems like that fire didn't do nearly as much damage as you might expect fire to do. He's still got some armor on though, so that means there's still, oh no. The armor, he does have armor on, but the important armor is gone. Which means that, dude, that's his weak spot. It's always the gem. It's always the eyes or the gem. Or the feet sometimes. I don't know. Different bosses have different weak spots. Oh, wow. And this dragon controls the weather. He's got a weather machine. I wonder, dude, when I see dragons in armor, I sometimes wonder, like, who went through the trouble of putting armor on a dragon? Because, A... Dragons have really hard scales to begin with, and to me it seems- what? Oh, okay, okay. The rain is making these things perk up. I was like, what's happening? But dude, it seems like dragons have really hard armor to begin with, and most of the time, dragons don't seem to be all that tame. So it strikes me that to put armor on a dragon would be a lot of trouble to begin with, and yet, dudes always, they're like, you see all these armored dragons in the fantasy world, 
And it's like, holy shit! Someone, like, went out of their way to armor the fuck. Oh, nope, not high enough. It was like, somebody went out of their way to armor the shit out of this dragon. And I gotta say, that's pretty impressive, you know? That's a lot of work that I know I wouldn't have gone through. I would never waste my time. It's not a waste of time, it's a dragon with armor. I mean, it's like, basically an unbeatable fucking enemy. Oh, I need- see, you gotta get to- there! There we go. Now we've got money, so I think that he's just gonna shoot his flame around, and all you gotta do here is catch up to his backside and get on his back, hopefully, and it'll just own- it'll just own him murder style. Although, do you have to- oh no, there we go, we're behind him now. Alright, cool. Um, and he doesn't seem to notice that I'm behind him, so does that do it? Oh yeah. Sorry, bitch. You're about to get your fucking bitch ass owned by a dude, just by a mere human. A non-armored human at that. Yeah. Think about that, dragon. You've got armor. Oh, okay, you don't... You can't hit him again. For some reason, I thought maybe you could slap, like, a shot on his head. But, of course, I should have known better. He's a dragon. Dragon's heads aren't weak. Only their precious back gems. I clearly haven't gone to my dragonology... Oh, okay, we're not gonna go to that thing yet. That's bad. There we go. What obviously what that means is I have not taken enough dragonology courses in college. My professor would be displeased with me. Alright. I mean, if this is all this fight is, it seems like dodging his flame burst is not really all that challenging as long as he starts it. Jesus Christ, man. Start shooting your fire. I really need you. There we go. I was like, I really need you to start shooting your fire because it turns out that although you would think I would be afraid of your fire, it is actually the only way for me to win the battle. Also, I'm very glad that the fire doesn't seem to affect, you know, in terms of things that fire tends to have an effect on, I would put plants pretty high on the list, and I'm very glad that this fire doesn't seem to have any effect on the plant whatsoever. That would be super unfortunate. Oh, here comes another... Dude, I feel like I should be able to, like, get a hit on the head, but... It's just not one of those kinds of fights, I suppose. Also, I just realized I'm very lucky that when I have my... Oh no, it's because the wind had stopped blowing. I was like, somehow I managed to keep my feet planted on the ground just now, even when bad shit was happening to me royally. Okay, he's shooting the fire at the other one right now, which means... Oh. You really... You can't... Act, I guess you have to shoot right at the upper corner, otherwise you're fucked because... It seems as though it is the case that if you don't shoot right at the upper... Alright, we gotta wait for him now to do your attack. That's right. I need you to do your attack for me so I can do the thing that is required by law as a hero. All heroes must slay a dragon or a Medusa or possibly a Hydra, which is sort of like a dra... Oh, dude, he's he's changing... Oh, no, no. I need to point the other way. God damn it. Link. Holy shit. Of course he would change his strategy up, I was like, dude, I thought, I was thinking things were getting a little bit too easy there, and then naturally the dragon has changed his strategy to be a strategy of gods. Alright, cool, let's get, no, no, point at him. Okay, here we go. If this is a Legend of Zelda Rules of Three, this should be the end of the battle. Oh no, I needed to hit A to finish, whatever. I think he's done anyway because there's a nice cutscene going. Everything is pretty and shiny. This dragon is basically the subject of a famous queen song because another one has bitten the dust. Maybe what the thing on his back is a shard of Twilight Mirror. I totally forgot that that... It's been so long since I've done an actual dungeon that it sort of slipped my mind that I've been trying to collect chunks of Twilight Mirror. But now I know. That's what I'm doing. That's my job. I was hired by Hyrule to collect the sweet, sweet Twilight Mirror Shrads. Alright, give me that sweet, sweet Shrad. There's work to be done. Alright, Midna, tell me the deal. Let's just hear it. Rector, you did it! It's the fourth Shrad! Now we have them all! Do your thing! Be a god! Be an awesome dude! Hey, Rector. The words of the sages, you remember them? Only the true ruler of the Twilight can destroy the Mirror of Twilight. That's you. Zant could only break the Mirror of Twilight into shards. He couldn't utterly shatter it. That's proof of his false kingship. It must be you, Midna. Maybe if you stop talking... No, just kidding. I think now the deal is we're going to have to teleport yet back to the Mirror Chamber. Luckily, 
they put a teleport there to be nice to me because they felt guilty that I probably wasn't going to be able to get there. So let's grab this big old bad boy and head through the portal to claim my victory lap. Uh, no, there's nothing else. Even if there was something else, I don't think I could get down from here to do other things if my life depended on it. So it's like, you know what? It's okay that you're gonna teleport me out. Because even if I had something else to do here, I guess she asks you that in case for some reason you were foolish and you totally forgot to... Um, she asks you that in case you were stupid and you forgot to grab the heart piece. So then you can, like, kind of think back and be like, Yeah, I totally didn't grab the heart piece as was intended of me. Something gives me the feeling that an Uka might chit-chat with me now. Nope. The Ukas don't even care. I fucking saved their world and now they're like, Good, we can get that Raktar out of our hair. Great. Good, great, grand, wonderful. It turns out we always hated that guy anyway. Also, having a cannon shoot you downward seems like a super dangerous act of foolishness, but you know what? It's the only way that I can... The other, the only other option I can think of is jump, and that would probably be just as likely to kill me. Luckily, I get dropped in the water. And getting dropped in the water is a fantastic time to end this episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess right here. In the next episode, I will probably be trying to wrap up some loose ends in the realm of side quests, because... There's always so much more to do in the side quest world in this game. This game has shit ass load tons of side quests, and I would love to get them out of the way. So, this has been Rektar. Thank you for watching.